Hey, all you cool cats and gamers, welcome to No Category Left Behind, the GDQ Hotfix show that showcases categories, extension speedruns. I am your host, Nuclear Reaction, and tonight I've got some great Mario extensions for y'all. We're going to be kicking it off with Mitch Flower Power here with Super Mario Bros. 3, showcasing all fours, which is going to be a fantastic run to watch. Uh, but before we get started, I do have some announcements. If you missed out on any GDQ Hotfix shows, check out our archive of past runs and shows at youtube.com slash games done quick. If you're watching on YouTube, feel free to join us over at twitch.tv slash games done quick to check out our live shows starting most nights at 7 p.m. Eastern. And while you're there, as a reminder, the subscriptions and bits for the month of January, minus the amount GDQ has to pay for taxes, will be donated to Prevent Cancer Foundation. Make sure you get those subs and bits in. It all it goes to charity minus those taxes that we have to pay. Um, let's get into the run, though. I'm really, really excited for this. Uh, Mitch, why don't you tell us a little bit about all forts? And I'm really curious to know why this is a category extension. Well, if you thought Warpless had a lot of RNG, well, you, you're, 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 just, uh, you're just wrong when it comes to this category. So <laughs> all forts essentially is... Uh, beat all the fortresses. Um, there's a couple tanks in World 8 that don't count. Uh, ideally, the first one. And then, essentially, we were actually talking about this earlier. It's it's all boom booms. Like, boom booms are kind of what classify what is uh, a fort and what's not a fort. So, the main objective is do whatever I can. Do whatever I want, but I have to do the fortresses and beat Bowser. That's about it. And I have Haxer with me to explain to you all all the little things that I'll be doing during my run. What up, Haxer? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, excited for this one. It's been a while since I've uh, seen the All Forts, so um, good luck. <laughs> He's going to be showcasing some stuff that has changed, probably, if you haven't seen this category since the last time it was run for GDQ. So, not um, to mention, exciting. yeah, not to mention, yeah, yeah, GDQ did not do what we call wrong warps, and this is going to feature a wrong warp. I have a safety save in case it crashes. We all know that wrong warps like to crash the game. Um, so if it doesn't work, we'll we'll load up a state. We'll make sure we show you all what what happens when you do the wrong warp. So that, that's also exciting. New content. Yeah. Well, I'm excited. Uh, whenever you are ready to go, Mitch, go ahead and count us down here. I am ready. Haxer, do you want to give me the countdown on go from three? Yep. Sounds good. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Three, two, one, and go. And on. So one of the coolest things here is that... In World 1, whenever I beat the first fortress, well, I don't need to do anything else left in World 1, so we get to use a warp whistle. Warp whistles actually have a good purpose. Yeah, he's taking a little save here in World 1 over what he'd normally do. He usually wouldn't grab the mushroom here, although technically that is the faster route if you grab the leaf in 1-3, but it's not normally what you do in this category. That's more for shorter categories. Yeah, this isn't world record attempts. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, um, you know, he's he wants to do that for a little bit of safety here because he could miss any one of these jumps off of these Goombas and take a quick death, and he just really wants to get started in this run and not have to worry about that, so. Yeah, if there's anyone who knows me for my GDQ past, I play World 1 extremely well every time, so. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a lie. I don't. I, uh, I think some of my biggest mistakes in past runs are normally World 1. Yeah, it's usually, uh, well, I'm not going to talk about it, but, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. My thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, doing a little bit of safety there too, kicking the shell at the beginning. Um, you know, normally he would just hop over that first shell. It's a little tougher as big Mario. And again, you know, it kind of defeats the purpose of taking a little safe if he's going to be risky there. So just gets out of the level, takes a small time loss and uh yeah you would never think but the jump at the start of that level two is like one of the hardest jumps in the game right yeah yeah definitely but he goes for the waffle jump which I i'm surprised about um and does get it so that's very good yeah don't ask um, i i my brain i'm never in control when i do world ones for <laughs> events i don't why did i go for the orb if i'm not gonna go for a jump that's actually safer right Yep, exactly. So yeah, you, you'll notice he's grabbing these warp whistles, and these are going to be important in this run. He actually is going to warp four times in this run to save a lot of time over playing some really long stages. As you can see there, he saved two stages, a hammer bro, and then the, uh, the uh, castle as well. 
Yep. So. And if you're asking yourselves, is he going to use a warp whistle to skip the World 4 airship? Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes, I am. That was the Definitely. first thing to go. When we routed at this category, remember? That was the first thing we were thinking. Yep. How can yeah. we skip this, this auto-scroller? Okay, Haxor, how do you feel about that movement? Um, that's actually quite good. So, um, that bro, you absolutely do not want to fight in this category. Uh, you don't want any music boxes, actually. They're useless items, so... Um, you do get one at the end of World 3. Um, you can't avoid that, because it's a peach letter item. But, uh, yeah, he's gonna feel good about that hammer bro moving left, because it increases his chances of being able to skip it. So, down or left, there we go, we are good. Yep, he's gonna be guaranteed to skip it here, so that's great. That's uh, honestly like the hardest first. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the. <laughs> we both that's, in on the oh skip man, it. this is such a huge reset point. Uh, you know, normally you'd be like, "Wow, it's just a hammer, bro." That's the longest hammer, bro, fight in the game. Ooh. You know, he loses like 13, 14 seconds fighting that one. So a little overshoot yeah. there. Yeah, he met the damage boost. Um, <clears throat> to keep P-Speed and one cycle that room, but uh, unfortunately, a little girthy on the jump there. <laughs> yeah. It does happen. Um, but yeah, also, because of this, normally there's a strat in 2-3 he would go for, but I wonder... You're probably going to take it safe here, I would imagine. It's yeah, I'm not small. going for it. Yeah, so... There's the green rocket strat that's been developed using that green shell that he just passed there that is going to be about half a second faster than what he's doing here, but this is the uh, the old school quickest strat yeah. there. The, the, the way I kind of look at it is <clears throat> the green shell strat is very easy to mess up, but normally yeah. when you mess it up, you have big Mario or fire Mario, you can, you can, you know, fake it till you make it. But in this category, if you mess it up, you will die. And then, yeah. Then the Hammer Brother moves in your yep. way. And it's just a nightmare. It's not worth it. <laughs> and yeah, if it, you know, PB attempts might be something you'd consider going for, because it is a nice time save, but you know. Yeah, and if, if I go for so like, much. yeah, if I go for a WR attempt in this category, I will definitely uh, switch to the Green Rocket. So I know well, I watch, I watch a lot of your streams, Mitch, and I know, um, early Hammer is a big thing in this world for, I don't, I can't think of which category, but... Uh, warp I'm assuming that's not a thing here. <laughs> nope, because, which also makes this category, it continues to be more unique day by day, but even if you get early hammer, you can't use it in this category because you need to use the hammer to get the last warp whistle in this world, mm. the secret one. So, yeah, it's, um, <clears throat> if you get it by accident, I mean, that really sucks, but whatever, you know, happens. Hammer Brothers It's actually a time loss, yeah, because the extra <laughs> yeah. movements. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, this stuff, is great. Dude. He does uh, <laughs> get his hammer here that he needs, and hopefully will not forget to get the whistle. Very important. Um, but yeah, he's got a cool little strat here. This is how he'll re-grab his mushroom there. That is also the backup strat if you would ever come into this level small in any of the other categories. But uh, it's actually the main strat in this category because of the additional time save in the fortress for damage boost. Yeah, that's the the spikes where I did the girthy jump where I messed up. That was supposed to be much quicker, which would indu like it, it would entice going for this mushroom grab. Like if you if if I was just gonna mess it up, I would just keep my mushroom. But yeah, you go for the fast tracks. Ideally, the other thing is he would have uh, gotten that hammer and played two four um, because it gives him a more guaranteed boss pattern. He still should technically, I think, be able to fire kill here, but. Um, the patterns get a little weird when you're moving from this side of the screen. Yeah, I'll see. I'll see what he does. This, you know, this is GDQ. Got to go for the fire kills. Yeah, at least it's not such a big deal. There is an easy fire flower to grab in the next level. So, exactly. Nothing's worse for anyone who doesn't know. Nothing is worse than losing your fire flower at the start of World Five. So it's okay in World Three and you know this world. But we haven't actually got our fire flower yet, and that's normal for this category. This, again, also very unique. I, I'm gonna keep pointing out all the unique things about this category. Yeah, the early game in this category is a little rough um, because any mistake usually causes you to reset because mm -hmm. you're running through a lot of levels small or without a fire flower, and it's right, it's not easy to even get one. mushrooms. So, 
Yeah, that strat I did in the pyramid, I definitely made it look a lot easier than it is. Oh, yeah, so action. the... I was talking about the boss pattern. Um, so normally you would know what the boss pattern is based on how many movements you got from the hammer bro before entering the castle and then what square you move from. But in this category, since that whistle bro can be on four different squares, it's really hard to gauge what pattern he's going to get unless he's really familiar with the category. It looks like it's 100% pattern here, so very nice. I had to go for it. Yeah, no, off screen one grab. We need it. So yeah, moving into World 3. So um, he's not going to be using Warp Whistles in these couple worlds here, Worlds 2 and 3, because it actually would take you to the second half of the game for some reason. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure right. why it's coded that way for these levels, but it is not for <clears throat> the second half of the game. Yeah, um, so if you use a Warp Whistle in World 1, you go to 2, 3, 4. If you use a Warp Whistle in Worlds 2, 3, or 4, you go to 5, 6, 7. Um, wait, did I say in World 1, 2, 3, 4? Yeah, 2, uh, 3, 4. Yeah, yeah. Two, that three, makes sense, four. yeah. But if you use a Warp Whistle in World 5, you go to 5, 6, 7. And if you use a Warp Whistle in World 6, you also still go to 5, 6, 7. It's very strange. I don't understand it. Um, yeah, some, I don't know, something weird happened with how they coded it. Yeah, you can do like 120% if you want. Beat World 5, Warp Whistle, go back to World 5, beat it again, then beat the game. <laughs> like, yeah. You could actually beat all of World 6, Warp Whistle back to 5, beat the two worlds again, Warp Whistle back to 5. Yeah, 150%. But uh, gets a nice P speed strat here in 3 2. It's a uh, crowd one of pleaser. The... Yep, yep. Crowd pleaser definitely. And one of the things you kind of look to in this world to tell you whether or not you're having a good world. So yeah. um, that's definitely the, the first step there. Right at the start, too. Yep, yep. Well, and, th and that's good because, you know, hey, do I need to reset or go for door three right away, right? So not. Yeah, I'd hate bad. to get. I'd hate to get good Hammer Brother RNG first and then mess that level up. That would that would suck. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, he's gonna have some choices here. So ideally, he actually wants to skip this star, um, Hammer Bro, and it doesn't really save that much time either way. It's like a couple second difference, but uh, it is moving in his path at the moment. But <laughs> um, yeah, so we're either gonna see him fight that brother or that hammer bro and not play an extra level, or he's gonna play an extra level and get a secret item, which uh, I'm hoping does happen because it is cool. We have time if you want to do like a little in-depth explanation of like why hammer brothers affect the run so much and like what what it is that they're doing that moves. Like what are the like do the movements mean anything? Do they lose time and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so each time a hammer bro moves on the map, essentially just think of it as a half second. So every time they move one square, it's a half second. So he moved two there, that's an entire second of time that it took um, versus the hammer bro not being on the map. So um, he could have given him a movement of one there and it would have only been a half second versus, you know, one second. And so these movements over the course of the run, as you see in every world, they're hammer bros. It's going to add up to a lot of time, potentially. Mm -hmm. And they can't sit also, on levels, right? So they have yep, to do... Yep. <clears throat> and sometimes there's levels than mushroom houses, and they'll move to the mushroom house over the level and give you movements of four and weird things like that, too. Yeah, so, so like a movement of four is 1.5 second time loss from an optimal movement of one. Is yeah. it, you'll go to a Mario 3 stream and, and be like, what are they talking? Movements? What? Like, yeah, Mario's moving. I get it. But what are these Hammer Brothers? And that's kind of what Haxer just explained. Yeah, you wouldn't think it's a lot of time, but it is actually. Um, it is. I'm, yeah, between really good RNG and really bad RNG, it could be like 20, 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to explain the screen scroll there? Oh, yeah. So, um... When you do a screen scroll, you actually get one frame uh, if the hammer bro is on the other side of it to move past the hammer bro. However, because he also did a screen scroll, you can actually buffer your overworld movement by just holding the direction you're moving. So that means he automatically does a frame perfect movement to skip the hammer bro there. So that's why it wasn't already didn't, didn't get you know pulled into the fight. So yep. um, so it I also works on coin chips too, which is yep. weird. 
But I'm the Hammer Brothers actually in a really bad spot right now. <clears throat> Was kind of hoping him not to move there because he can move left and down now, which will give me a movement yep. of three, which optimally is not good. Plus, he might show up in my way, and I'm not going to find out until I screen scroll. Oh, I get the double screen scroll. When does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> and I avoided him twice. What? That's, That's incredible. pretty crazy. And he, he has to usually be doesn't move back. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, he really wants to skip that hammer, bro. It's a it's a star, which is a useless item for him in this run. And so the entire duration of that fight, which is about twelve seconds, you know, I optimally yeah. is the time. And now pass. now that he's stuck, he won't move. Because he can't cross beaten levels and he can't cross bait cards. So now he's not doing he's doing movements of zero, but he's still there, so it's just as optimal. Yeah, you'll notice he doesn't have the uh, little freeze time after the levels, despite the Hammer Bro being alive, and that's because the Hammer Bro has nowhere to move anymore. Yeah. That's he crazy. Get the he has jump. to be on those... There's only two tiles, right? The, yeah. the tile that I transferred from left to right, and then, yeah. That's so silly. That's so awesome. Good job, Hammer Bro. Yeah, we... We kind of skipped over the fact that you got the secret item in 3-7, which this is the only category uh, that you actually get that item. So, oh my god, I uh, did get it. Oh, I was in autopilot. Thank you god did, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's really cool because it is a cloud, so that will enable him to skip a longer level, which he'll do in World 4. Mm -hmm. So, I am not going to skip the most ideal long level. Um, because I don't have much of a problem doing 4-3, but I don't like doing 4-4, four, four, so I'm going to be skipping 4-4. Four, four. Um, that just creates a lot of less stress. Yeah, 4-4 four, four is a much more annoying level. 4-3 um, is about a second longer, but uh, it's still a pretty good skip. Uh, basically, your three best levels to skip in the rest of the run are 4-3, four, 4-4, four, four, and 5-2. Why don't you use your cloud to skip the fortress? That's a great question, because we have to complete <laughs> all of them, you know? Even though he didn't fight the Boom Boom in the first fortress, it still counts as a completion, because he smashed it. Right. Yeah, it's, it is important for him to have Fire Flower here as well, uh, for this boss kill more than the others, because Wendy is notorious with Can all of her rings. just talk about her lipstick and shoes for a sec? And... <laughs> Is she going somewhere? Or like, is there? A... She got a date that night. I've yeah, never she's... noticed her shoes before, if I'm being <laughs> honest. <laughs> she's got the high heels and she's got the yeah. lipstick. She's got her rings on. Yeah, Where I mean, she appears for two going? seconds, and then you fire kill her, and then she flies off. I don't know. She's like, ah, you know, I'm gonna be out of here quick. So, I guess she didn't like her date with Mario. So. <laughs> Well, in all fairness, Mario was not nice to her, so he didn't shoot fire at someone and expect them to hang out. All so right, so that's my learned first to... Yeah, um, and the only one, hopefully, that mm -hmm. uh, he will get. Um, so in this world, and he learned the hard way a few days ago, coming back to the category, he has to make sure he grabs a P-Wing. Um, I need at least one wins. within this world and the next world. Yeah. So, and this world, I think, is the hardest one to get. It's just world five. The odds of only getting one is so low. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he does the shell strat for P-Speed here, which uh, he's reverting. He did go to the top tier strats, and now that he's got the 100% world record, he's like, nah, I don't need that anymore. Yeah, so I don't need back, it anymore. But... That's right. Yeah, I went back to safety. Um... But still very nice there. This is a cool level because uh, for some reason fire killing that Koopa you saw him kill at the beginning despawns the first Prana Plant and then grabbing the block will allow him to get past the second. So um, it allows him to make it through the stage optimally there. Let's go ahead and say it. I'm a dirty despawner. You are. Okay, so I have to go out here. Yeah, he... <sighs> it, it gets a little tricky um, if he doesn't cloud there because that that cloud's going to start running away and he absolutely needs that item. So, mm -hmm. And I can't have it um, swift swapping with the other hammer because I am still going for good RNG here. And uh, One of the toughest levels in the game here doing it without a star um, which he doesn't have even if he wanted to use. Uh, 
comment is a great Hey, Will 3 gave me two great opportunities to get a star. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it did. But yeah, he'll have to do 4-4 four, four here. It's not that bad. It's just, you know, um, he's he's worried about taking damage because it, it's not super easy to get fire flowers from this point in the run. And yeah, he's not going to test this man. Oh, he's going to go for the... Uh, the super duper swim. Very nice. So 281, not bad. So I'm gonna have to music box here and then get uh, to uh, an extra hammer brother and world. Unless they switch, which they did not. Oh, no, they're so, so close, close to me. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to get unlucky and world five. Well, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, gets to play 4-6 uh, here. Doesn't have to worry about Hammer Bros getting in his way either, which is uh, very nice. And uh, he's only got one level left in this world because he's not going to yeah. play this airship. It is yeah. uh, the second longest level in the game. So. We actually People in chat are like, wait a minute, it's not the longest? Because, like, it seems pretty friggin' long. It's, it's like one or two seconds shorter than the World 7 airship. It's just so crazy that... Uh, so long. Okay, so, Warp Whistle, awesome. So yeah, he gets to use a second Warp Whistle here, so he's warped twice now. And moving on to World 5. Um, there is a music box in this first level that you'll see people get in Warpless these days, but uh, he's going to skip it here and uh, do this level the old-fashioned way. Well, not exactly the old-fashioned way, but uh, pretty Yeah, close. that was definitely not the old-fashioned way. <laughs> so yeah, normally, um, you know, the old-fashioned way is you don't get P-Speed at the end of that level, but getting P-Speed there does save them half a second or so. so nice, nice little treat. And uh, doesn't fall in the pit, which is great. Definitely hate to see that here in 5-2. Um, and also gets through this the old-fashioned way without damage boosting, which is so much uh, nicer, to be honest. Sliding on the hills, so yeah. These levels, um, hill these levels were much actually... longer when we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> much longer. So you see, see him slide on the hills there, it's because sliding speed is actually faster uh, than P-Speed even, but it's definitely faster than walking speed, so... Mm -hmm. But um, it has a double-edged sword, right? You want to explain it? Yeah. yeah, so to keep that maximum speed value, you actually have to continue to do frame-perfect jumps afterwards on the first frame you touch the ground. Um, and every frame you're in contact with the ground after that first frame, you continue to lose speed, so... That's kind of the double edged sword. That's why you don't see in RT attempts, people do like the slide strat in 1 2, for instance. Yeah. And again, here, this is where I would want to music box had I got luckier in World 4, but I don't have a choice yeah. here. If this is the P Wing and he moves up, maybe. Okay. So we have a chance here. Everyone spam yeah. up in chat. Up, up, up. Conjure it. Make it happen. Nice. Thank you. Followed by moving to 4. Not nice. <laughs> but, you know. He'll take the movement of four over the extra hammer, bro. So That's true. You can, you can get about, you know, five or six of those before you start getting upset about it versus the extra bro. Yeah. Also, as you said, I have the world record 100%, so I'm not allowed to get mad at it. Because <laughs> you have to get a good RNG in that. This is the one world you got horrible RNG in, though. Always. Um, I, in world. that run. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, you were like eight and a half seconds over optimal, which is hilarious. Which category would you say has the most RNG in it? Because this game has a surprising amount of RNG. Official category on. would be Warpless, but unofficial category would be this one. Uh -huh. Right? I think? It, it, it depends on how you define RNG. Are we defining, like, the greatest possible time losses? Because, yeah, it's definitely this category. If we're talking about, like, the most possible places you could lose time, it's probably actually 100%. Tech, yeah, because you do more levels, more Hammer Brother movements. Hunter, or Warpless also has Runaway Bro that messes with you. This category doesn't, right? There's that yep. too. This is weird. 
Yeah, and of course, everybody's run and 100% is really good, so like, yeah, oh, I played great, but it's like, you know, you're being counting hammer bro movements to try to beat me, more or less. Yeah, right? You could play perfect, and but still lose 45 seconds, just from, yeah. <laughs> eight, eight and a half seconds in World 5 due to that RNG the yeah. world record, you know? So we want this Hammer Brother, everyone spam right. We want the Hammer Brother to move right here so we can skip it. Right, 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 come on, come on. Right, right, let's get lucky. If he goes right, then yeah, we seriously got some pretty good Hammer Brothers in this uh, run with combination of World 2, 3, and... No, see, it's listening, they know. They know, they never. The, you'll you'll never do a run. <laughs> you'll never do a run that has all the world's good RNG. No, there's always one world that refuses to listen, but we try. We try. Yeah, that that guy likes to get in your way in this category, and then you know the one in World Six does as well. So it's it's pretty tough to escape all of them without fighting at least one, which uh, kind of makes it brutal. I'm pretty sure in the world records, Zakubi actually skipped all of them and got no hands, so mm -hmm. um, that's why that time is so good and so much better than everybody else's pretty much. Yeah, flat 43, man, that's, that's a good time. Yeah, and he had a good wrong warp too, which is, you know, another potential time save. So he's actually going to whistle here, um, and this is a change from the old route, which would have played through World 5. But now that we have the extra warp, we actually get to to warp our way out of there so um you know during the all forts race lasa was looking in the future when he uh when he did this yeah five yeah but then when he didn't when he wasn't able to warp out of world seven it was all came crashing down yeah yeah okay. would the have been hammer an brother, easy win yeah the hammer brother that i want moved up so yeah, cool strat here. Big reason why he wanted to keep that Fire Flower all the way through 5 is for this. Double damage boost there, and, um, you know, barring disaster, he's going to get a nice instant kill on the Boom Boom here. Going to have to wait a second there, but... Uh, that was awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Normally you would just stay down there, right? <laughs> yeah. But I decided to go back up. And gets the insta-kill, so... Still worth. And 6-4 uh, here has a, a really... It's a tight P-Speed strat. I'm not sure it's difficult. It's just... Um, and I think he's... Oh, no. Okay, you're like one frame late or something on the jump. But it's strange. You can't jump on the first frame you touch that block, that ice block you run off of, because you won't get it because your P-speed or your P-meter check happens over a gap, right? Yeah. So you got to do it on the next frame, which is like one pixel over, which then allows it, you know, to occur on land again. And yeah, it's really strange. But, so uh, I wanted that Hammer Brother. Don't want this one, though. Um, I have an extra music box, though, in case he gets in my way, which he might. That's actually pretty good, isn't it? It is, yeah. So you won't have to fight him, at the very least. Um, yeah, you went for the quick kill on the hammer bro there. Yeah, playing a little risky. I actually died on that quick kill earlier today, so I was a little worried about that. Yeah, it's kind of a weird one where when you hesitate, that's when you die. You just have to be like, no. Yep, you gotta be going. confident gotta... in your movement. Yeah. For sure. So, he did get in my way. Very nice. That's actually not uh, bad. No. Getting that music box in World 5, right? It's kind of one or the other kind of thing. Yep, you're guaranteed to fight one extra in this run regardless of what happens. So. <laughs> so yeah, gonna stop the Boom Boom here. One of the few in the game that actually gets stopped. And uh, he's Ish. gonna be taking damage in 6-8 here. In order to do a wall jump in 6 9. Yeah, I definitely have to wall jump in 6 9. Yeah, this is, he just uses that block to prime his P speed at the beginning, and the rest of the level just lines up so he gets both the H jumps there. That's the big H. And uh, does remember to take damage, which, you know, technically you can wall jump as big Mario, and there is a setup for it, which is kind of nice, but, you know, retries are tough. Oh, 
Hopefully it works out. Nice. <laughs> that was all for the correct subpixel. <laughs> we had, we needed it. So yeah, it gets that first try very nice. That's uh, one of the big sticking points in the run. One of the first outside the Hammer Bros, of course. And there is a subpixel manipulation where you can get wall jump first try every try. Um, it's very complex, but you can't use it in this category. Yeah, it requires you to star in 6-8, mm -hmm. which ideally you don't get in this category. Yeah, I haven't got one star yet, so if I even if I wanted to use one. Nope. Yeah, even this level has a nice floor clip that could save seven seconds for him, but uh, super risky a small Mario, so we don't go for it. Um, but yeah, if you were a big Mario going in this level, you would take a shot at it, of course. And yeah, he'll get to uh, re-grab his mushroom on this airship here, which uh, is it's it's yeah, important, it but it's probably less important than it used to be, I guess. Wait, if I don't have a star, you just you gotta do fast seven two. What? I didn't practice fast seven two. Since uh, when do I not get a star in this category? Yeah, you, I ideally you don't get a star. Yeah, you got you. You probably never got lucky before this run, so. No, I didn't. I kept using a star, and so all right. So you guys are gonna see something very unexpected from me. It's either gonna make or break the run. I'm very good at this strategy. It's just it's a practice-heavy um, strat. So we'll see. Yeah. The good news is that I know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, and the version you have to do is a little more difficult than normal Awkward, as well. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I almost should be able to get it. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, normally he would be worrying about clipping 7-1 um, in every other category of this game. But uh, in this one, yeah, we don't care about clipping 7-1s. So we don't care about our subpixels. Yeah, I feel um, so free on this boss. I love it, dude. I, I make sure I like jumble around. Don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, and every other run... Can... Yeah. Yeah, then you get to the end of World 7 and you're like, oh, it would have been so much easier to just click this level. Yeah, so what does chat think? Do you guys think this category should be left behind in category extensions? Or do you feel that this category is unique enough that it should be a part of the main four, making it the fifth? Interested to see what people think. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely a, a unique category that at one time was on the main leaderboard, but was removed. So, so <clears throat> we're not going to spoil anything in this world, but you're going to see something very weird right away. Right away, you're going to see something weird. What? Why? Why would you cloud that level so fast? You clip it. You'll find out. Just... Oh, All yeah. Right, wish me that luck. one we'll need later on. And he gets it, so very nice there. I needed that desperately. Yeah, I was just thinking too, I was like, oh, we could have had you play the end card and just get a fire flower too. Right, or star. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, sorry, my, my bit rate is dropping just a little bit. I apologize for that. It's it's staying normally decently high, but it's having a little chug. So. We're okay though. But yeah, it gets kind of a nice breather here with some free levels anyway. Um, this one's just, you grab P-Speed and you just P-Speed your way through, not too dangerous unless you really miss one of your jumps. And he gets I know to skip you mentioned, the worst level. I know you mentioned this used to be a main category. Why did it move from a main category to an extension category? I want to say I'll let Haxer I'll let Haxer say it, but it never actually really was officially a main category, okay. and Haxer can kind of explain that. Yeah, it was kind of a trial run, and then at the end of it, it was moved, and it's not really clear why. It's just people felt like it shouldn't be a main category. Is kind of the gist of the how the conversation went. Oh. Um, <laughs> That's yeah, fair. It's, I, it's I don't know. It's in a really weird spot oh, for sure. So hard on that second press. 
Why? <laughs> the first one so, looks so good. So he is trying to do a subpixel manipulation there in order to be able to clip this level first try, so... Um, unfortunately, he didn't move right for some reason. So, was unable to get it there at a probably too large of a subpixel. Yeah, I definitely... I moved, and then I was like, okay, I'll tap, but I moved pretty hard again. So now we're in RNG land, essentially. The game will tell me when it lets me and kills me. Yeah, and that's unfortunate too, because that uh, there's a huge range of subpixels where that actually works. So he, he kind of got a little unlucky in a way. Yeah, I'm actually going to go a little silly here. Um, because I don't have a star, I, I don't ever expect to not have stars. So I'm actually going to go for 7-7. Seven, seven. Which could technically save me time, but we'll see. Yeah. This is technically the the faster level, if you can get the clip here. And that is a gigantic if, because this clip is awful. Let's put it that way. It is very awful. Yeah, oh, even if you hit the it. right spot, you gotta have the right combination of... Oh, and he, he gets it there. He's gonna lose a bit of time. But, not uh, much, though. Not, not too much. You know, maybe like five, five seconds or so. Ten seconds. That didn't look there. too bad for a clip that you said isn't is difficult. <laughs> right, right, and that's the deceiving part. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you know, yep. You know. And then he could, you know, try it again, and it, he could time out in that level. It's just, yeah, it's really strange. Yeah, he's gonna go for another clip at the end of this level, and he's gonna want to pick up a fire flower as well. That he will use um, in this next level and beyond. Doesn't get the clip there. That one's a little awkward just based on where you jump. Uh, where you want to jump is actually kind of over that gap, so um, you have to jump before the gap, and you have to do this weird, like, small flick jump in order to not bonk on the ceiling. Pat. But he makes it out of there pretty good time. Got his fire flower, that's the important part. No oh, last fortress? No more warp whistles either. Yeah, and this is uh, one of the coolest levels in the game too. Um, in both, you know, fire and hammer suit strats. Uh, as you can see, getting some nice P-speed at the beginning there, taking out those prana plants in his way gonna do some stomps here these dry bones and keep his speed speed through that section which is probably harder than the first section to be honest <laughs> yeah yeah very nice fortress there that is uh, one of the hardest whoa. levels in the game whoa so. whoa whoa where am i going what what's going on here so yeah you've probably never seen anyone whoa, use this slow? pipe in a speed run um but uh, you're going to see that today, and you're also going to see someone enter an end card, which is probably something else you've never seen someone do in a Mario 3 speedrun. Outside of, you know, the co-op run, of course, but... Wait, we're going back to this level? What? Everyone knows this level, and y'all know why I'm here. Don't act like you don't. So yeah, you probably think he's going to complete the game. Nope, there's Fortress in World 8 we gotta do. Ooh. I mean, Hacks already knew that, I was telling you, Chad. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he's going to do something really interesting here that uh, really changed this category forever uh, when it was implemented. So, yeah, basically everything that happened before 2019 was immediately obsolete once this, uh, you know, came into existence because everybody beat the former world record. <laughs> So he's trying to pause buffer here to kill this shell while holding it. Um, and you can only do that with a pause buffer. Uh, it's really important to set up his memory values correctly in order to execute this. So that's why he was um, killing the shells in particular locations. Yeah, you cannot let go of a shell and shoot it at the same time. So you press pause, let go of B, press start, repress B. It's very annoying. All right. And yeah, had good luck with the, the clip into the pipe there. Oh, and, uh, oh of course. Hey, try it again, though. <laughs> oh, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Because like at all? You. No, it won't work. You'll have Are to you load the... Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> Has might, anyone ever might... seen that? <laughs> it took me... What's yeah, that? Yeah, you might actually have to hard reset even. I don't know why, but... So... Okay. What, hard reset load state? We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For some reason, I, I don't know why this is, there are things that happen over the course of the run that can make it so you can, you can never do it. And we don't really know what it is because not enough, you know exploration has been done into that and i'm not sure if we can even figure out what it is um because you play so much of the game but uh let's get into another attempt here and this is why we have the save state because it's kind of a volatile trick yeah we definitely want to show you you know we want to showcase no category left behind right Look, no Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not sure if this this might work because the it safe might reset work, the memory. Guys. So if I do have to reset, I can just reset load stage. I'll hard reset. I'll power out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. Hey. I got a weird one, but I got it. Look, so it took me to world eight, and I can scroll past the tanks. I don't have to fight them, but there's a lock here. So luckily, there's a pipe here. You go in the pipe, come out of the pipe, boom. Skip the first tank, all right? So it's like the coolest trick ever. Yeah, so he basically skipped like four minutes in levels with that uh, because he skipped the entire airship at the end of World 7. He skipped the Piranha Plant, and then he skipped that first tank, which is, you know, the longest like stage that isn't an, an airship in the game. Yep. Very cool trick, but <laughs> it's like 30 minutes in right 40 minutes in it's rough and you still have to get no hands like the hands are still a factor here yeah and as i mentioned it can just fail you can do everything right and it just won't work and your run's just over so yep. um <laughs> yeah that's, more that's after that's after you just got lucky with all the hammer brothers <laughs> right yep. that's the, i think that's the worst part like i don't mind the wrong warp i don't mind hands i don't mind messing up at a level i mind getting the best Hammer Brothers and then getting hands, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, and then you do all of that, you get to World 8 here and you get three hands, you know? Yep. I just... still think it's harder to get most optimal Hammer Brother movements than it is to get no hands. Uh, yeah, definitely. I don't think anyone's ever gotten all the optimal worlds. Right, good movements, no extra bros. All right, everyone pick, how many hands? One, two, or three. How many are we going to get? I'm going to guess one. One's pretty safe guess. One or two, or that's the safe guess right there. And he gets the first one, because Why it's not? the first hand. Yep. Yeah. Catch him, but, uh, It's an easy hand with Fire Flower, thankfully. And he's got two. All right. Ooh, I almost went for the full big jump. That would have been disastrous. Ooh. Yep. So I did a turn and... back there. I tried to do P meter manipulation to get P speed in this level, which like the level really does not want you to get P speed, but I tried. 50-50 on the third and he gets the third one. So no. <laughs> yep. This is the, the problem with the category. Everything can go right, and then you get here, and you lose a minute. Um, yeah. Warpless is... I, I don't know. I think Warpless is a little more damaging to your soul, because it's like you got all the clips right, you know, yeah. you got all the good Hammer Brothers. This category is just kind of like silly. Get to the wrong warp. Hope it works. Yeah, this category, you just kind of expect <clears throat> that, you know... You're never going to have everything go right in a run. Warpless, it can actually happen until the hands, and then you get to the hands, and then, of course, you get It's more often to people in Warpless than I would assume this category. There's lots of people I've watched who are just, they're just on a juicy PB. They're ahead by, like, a minute. They have, like, a 53. They're potential 51. All three hands. They get, like, a 54. <laughs> But yeah, this uh, this level here actually moves twice as fast as a normal airship as well. So cool little piece of trivia there. 
and uh, as such, for some reason, it makes your fireball trajectory really strange. It's more, like, straight downward. Mm -hmm. Alright, again, no star, because I didn't fight the first tank, which is fine. I would, I would be a little stressed if it was hammer suit, but it's not so bad. Yeah, you can always get another fire flower in the fortress, so taking damage isn't a big deal, but not ideal. And uh, he does get the fast rat there, so very nice. My little left-right, left-right master there. Yeah. This is a, a notorious Mario 3 stage. It's really, I don't know, it's kind of like a normal stage, but you play so many minutes of auto-scrollers in, in a row that kind of gets people out of rhythm, maybe, and you see people mess up on it a lot more true. than they probably should. It's true. That and the pressure. The rhythm of Warpless has that as well. Like this, this category has a whole different feel because the rhythm is just like, you go from World Five, World Four to World Five, and World Four is fast, mm -hmm. and then World Five is really fast, but it's got that two minute break. The big feeling difference. I kind of wish I had a star. Go for Bowser's basement. You know. <laughs> gotta get that and gotta get that at a GDQ. Hey, you can uh, go back and play that first tank if you want. <laughs> you <laughs> you, you do already played all the hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, laugh it up, laugh it up. True, I did, yeah. Oh man. Can I just get this star right here and carry it over or something? <laughs> And the final boom boom of the game right there. So he has completed, well, no, actually there's one more. I guess the final fortress level. Yep. He does have one more boom boom, which he has to play anyway. So whether or not you think it's a fortress, it doesn't matter. So if boom booms are required in this, as like the official, it applies to a fort, does that make Bowser a boom boom? Well, I think you just beat the game after you complete all the points, <laughs> yeah. right? And it's just the fastest way to beat the game is just go beat Bowser. I'm trying to be a stinker. It's so interesting because you see speedrun categories where it's like, okay, grab, uh, like Odyssey, grab all purple coins. As soon as they grab the last purple coin, that's time. But <laughs> yeah. then this, you, you have to go finish the game. So it's so arbitrary, but it's it's interesting to see what rules everyone comes up with. Yeah, so if if we finished the game on this last Boom Boom and didn't fight Bowser, that would, that would be a one-way step to guaranteeing that it never reaches the official category, yep. mm -hmm. like the, the leaderboard. <laughs> um, that is, like, the number one thing with the Mario 3 community is that, like, when you do categories, you gotta finish, you know? You gotta finish the game. Or else it's not a speedrun, you know? You gotta get it done. It just doesn't... And you're yep. so close to Bowser? Like, that yeah, would just right? feel so weird. <laughs> yeah, we'll let him live. Time on the orb grab. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's actually a good idea. That might be the only way I could beat Zikabee. Yeah, yeah, give me, <laughs> yeah, yeah right. give me the time on the orb grab. Save that minute. So if I had a star, I would go in that door right there, and I'd showcase like what what you do in the any percent no wrong warp run. Um, but I don't. So sorry. I just like teased you guys with it, but you never get you never get the treat. Hey, the clip actually worked. It did. It seems like it should be free, but it isn't. I swear, sometimes you just cannot get it. It just Sometimes it like you pushes you it. out too. Like you're in and then yep. you just like left click. And hi Bowser. And 35 fireballs later. Hey, Bowser. Goodbye Bowser. And time is on when he enters the door here. So this door is really strange, and a lot of people don't know this, a lot of new runners don't know this, but you can hold up. Yeah, I'm just holding up right door, here. Yeah. And you'll enter but, it on the first frame possible. But if I'm in a level where I'm holding up and I run past a door, I won't go in it. So it's weird. Yep. There you go, everyone. That's all forts. We, did, we didn't have to worry about Runaway Bro. We had to worry about every single Hammer Brother. That sucks. We got all three hands. <laughs> we did a wrong warp. We did 7-7 seven, seven clip. We did a 7-6 seven, clip. We did fast 7-2. We did a wall jump. Very fun category. Very silly. Lots of weird stuff. Yeah, definitely. That was, that was
super interesting. I yeah, I've definitely never have seen that wrong, wrong warp before, and that was that was really really cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gee, and, gee. And, and... <laughs> Mario 3 has so much little tiny knowledge that applies to like all these little things and like if you don't sit down and like Watch a stream or watch a run where people are explaining it like you you miss so much mm -hmm. of the game So I was mm -hmm. I'm happy that Haxer and I were able to share with everyone in chat all these little things So if you want to watch more all forts and I'm actually gonna be going for uh, Riff world record as well. Come on down to my stream twitch.tv slash Mitch flower power guys Make sure you give me a follow go for the world record I'll, I'll try and Bob it could be. I don't know if I can do it. And uh, maybe we can work towards getting this on the uh, on the official leaderboard. Yeah. But you'll never know if you don't follow me, right? Yeah, I think I think there's enough changes that, you know, 42 can happen 